What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 68 of the Charge to the Top here of Hereford FC and we are back once more for another live commentary and today well we're going to be taking on Blackburn, a big game for us and well you can see here looking at the league table we are in 14th, it's really not been a nice run of games of course. Last episode we got a good little win and I was hoping off that win we were really going to build upon that but as you can see since that game against Fulham it's been well a little bit disappointing really you can see we beat Reading in the EFL Cup I guess that's a good result in terms of our little cup run that we're on at the moment however following that up we failed to win in our last four league games two defeats against MK Dons and Sunderland followed by two draws against Brentford and Leeds and well it's not ideal. You can see MK Dons in 7th, Brentford in 9th, Leeds in 10th, Sunderland in 11th. The teams we've slipped up against are very much the teams just marginally ahead of us. Games that if we were winning, we'd be in a drastically kind of better situation going into today's kind of episode. You can see here, first game against Reading, obviously Madison and Marshall getting the goals. We then failed to score in both games against MK Dons and Sunderland. And well, following that up... The games against Brentford and Leeds, perhaps a little bit unlucky in these. I feel like we had opportunities to win the game. You can see in this match here against Brentford, we went a goal down. Kevin Kelly grabbed two in two minutes, and you thought from there maybe we were going to crack on and uh, you know get a win in the second half. However, it just didn't play out that way, despite us bossing possession for large spells of the game. And while the other game we had against Leeds United, we scored four goals in this game. And unfortunately to our own goals, so um, yeah, not ideal, it's a game that we probably should have won, you know, with the exception of the own goals, Leeds didn't really look all that threatening, so a little bit disappointing there, but of course two games away from home, they are always going to be tricky, and hopefully in today's game against Blackburn, who are going strong up in fifth in the league, we can get a good little result. You can see here, we currently sit on 16 points. It's not really ideal. We're only six points above the relegation zone, but looking kind of further ahead, I guess. We're only five points off the playoffs, so we're kind of, you know, we're not miles off the pace, really. You can see at the top of the table, Huddersfield are really running away with things at the moment, but with the exception of them, the rest of the league is still fairly kind of close together after 12 games, and while our expectation for this year is a top-half finish... And, uh, well, whilst we are perhaps slightly off that at the moment, we're only a win or two away from kind of being comfortable in the top half of the, the league. But anyway, the game against Blackburn today is going to be a big one. The fixtures have been coming thick and fast. Have also had a fair bit of injury kind of, um, kind of I guess, problems to deal with. You can see Kavanagh here was out of a back strain for four weeks. That was our first choice. Uh, obviously left back Harry Lennon if we look at his injuries he was out with a bruised rib for a week and a half unfortunately that overlapped with a number of games and uh, you know the players as a whole they've just kind of struggled a little bit with fitness because well as I said the games they've been coming thick and fast you kind of look here we've been playing uh, midweek for pretty much five uh, for three weeks in a row we had a game in midweek and then a game at a weekend so and actually no it was, it was even more than that because you can see here the MK Dons game was a midweek game so yeah it's in a little bit man and I did try and rotate the team a little bit perhaps that was at my own detriment but we're still in the EFL Cup which is good uh, obviously Watford not the most glamorous of ties so I probably won't live comp that but depending on on of course, if we win that, maybe the fifth round is when we will be back next time. In terms of general team news, not a whole lot to report on, really. Obviously, you can see here, Kevin Kelly, our top goal scorer for the season. Jamie Price, four goals and five assists for him. Jay Beckford, four goals for him. We've struggled a little bit for goals of late. But all in all, the average ratings by the team have been largely positive. You can see our two centre-backs, Rumsby and Gums, have really put in top performances so far this year. Obviously, great to see these two players, players who... Um, I, I don't know, there was, there's an element of perhaps question about them, you know, would they be able to step up, would they be able to form an alliance, the two players, you know, obviously two very young players as well, and I think it'd be fair to say they have, I mean, if you look at us here, you can see our key player is considered to be David Gum. so that is very, very pleasing indeed, and actually, the hot prospect at the moment is considered, considered to be Jeff Valenzuela, who of course is on loan at Tampa Bay Rowdies, appearing frequently for the USA under-21 squad, but yet to break into the national team, but he looks like a very very good player this guy so I'm pretty excited to kind of monitor his development over the coming years and you can see he has got a fairly long contract at the club he has got a minimum release clause of 13 million pounds for a Premier League side but of course if we were to get that kind of money for one of our players that would be the kind of money I could reinvest and I'd feel very very confident that with that kind of money I would be able to build a squad ready kind of to move up into the Premier League and really challenge it in the championship 
But anyway, this is the team that we have for today's game. Sean Kavner's actually struggling a little bit for fitness, so I'm actually going to take him off and we'll play Josh Grant at left-back. Not the greatest start to his time at the club, Josh. He's only really made a handful of appearances. Of course, the issue he's kind of got really is that he's the jack-of-all-trades for us in the defensive department. He can play pretty much every single position, and so he kind of just comes on and kind of plugs gaps for us when players are suspended, when players are injured. You can see here, obviously, decent average rating, 7.02 in the league. He's played a fair few cup games and performed well in them. So maybe he can step up and do a, a good job for us today uh, at the left-back position, which is going to be a tricky one, I think. And you may have noticed here, he's expecting and hoping uh, to play in his favourite position soon. So, I mean, keep hoping, mate, because you are going to be playing left-back for us for the foreseeable future, I think. But anyway, this is the team we're going to go with. It's going to be Beckford, Marshall and Price. Needham and Mulhall in the centre of the midfield. Obviously, defensively, we go with Chucky and Gold. Grant plugs in at left back. Rojas at right back obviously comes in. He's not had the greatest time, and you can see he's been, been kind of, what's the word, deteriorating. That doesn't sound right, but he's been deteriorating. We'll go with it. Um, of late, you can see his attributes really have dropped down. It's not really ideal for him, the Panama International. I definitely feel like the full backs are the positions that if I was going to try and improve a position over kind of the January period, that's where I'd be looking to kind of sort ourselves out. Because defensively, I feel like at the um, kind of centre-back positions, we're very, very solid indeed. It's just a case of can we add a little bit more strength in depth. Anyway, we are going to bring, I think, Booty into the team today. He's lacking match fitness, but prior to his injury, which of course has kept him out of the side for the last four weeks, he was playing very, very well indeed. He got three assists and one goal, and his average ratings in his last five games were really impressive. So hopefully, obviously he's been out for a little while, he can come into the side today and, well, whilst still lacking perhaps a little bit of match fitness, have a good impact for us in that centre attacking midfielder position. So anyway, let's get into today's game. We've got plenty of options on the bench. We've got real firepower, so we can afford to mix things up if we need to. Uh, Tom Davies, unfortunately, out injured. The only real bit of injury news to be aware of. Out for four to five weeks with a sports hernia. Um, picked up a few weeks ago. Not really ideal for him, but we'll make do... He does perhaps leave us with a little bit of a gap when it comes to a, a really solid kind of backup defensive midfielder for Mulhall. But, I mean, Needham can come in and play a very good defensive role there. And we have got some options in the centre of the midfield as well, you know, to uh, bring in new players. Players like Josh Harrop can certainly come in and play centre mid for us. And we've also got Beautyman, um, who isn't in the match day squad today, but a very good player. Who, of course, has perhaps fallen out a favour a little bit. He's not really been that great for us the 31 year old he's shown signs of um deterioration i guess in terms of his attributes in the last year or so which is not really what you want to see from a 31 year old so we kind of have to monitor that a little bit you can see he's not really improved not that you'd expect him to improve necessarily but he definitely isn't the player that i thought he was going to be when we signed him um of course at the start of last year for 350,000 pounds he played a lot last year to be fair the games he's played this year he's not done that badly so maybe i should afford him a few more opportunities um but alas we're not going to give him the opportunities today we're going to go with this team Sam Booty lacking a little bit of match sharpness. I'm going to give him the nod. We are the favourites for today's game, so that's good. Obviously, you can see here we're amongst the teams expected to be involved in a relegation fight. Of course, I've told the board a top half finish. I think we've got the squad to finish top half. Um, obviously, we've got some terrific goal scorers. And hopefully, you know, today against Blackburn in fifth, we can get what could be a crucial win to kind of try and close the gap on some of the teams in the uh, in the playoff spots. They've got a few good players here. Brownhill and Livermore stand out as very, very good kind of centre midfielders for this level. They're not the most mobile, though, so maybe we can capitalise on that a little bit. Um, but no, they have a very good team, and it's going to be a bit of a test today. Obviously, they got promoted this year into the championship, and well, currently they sit in the playoffs. They will be very, very happy, I imagine, Blackburn, with their start to the season. We're not so happy. I feel like after 12 games to win four, draw four, and lose four, I mean, it's average, isn't it? You kind of just getting along aren't you <laughs> you're not really being a standout performer but you wouldn't exactly say you're struggling with that kind of form but I'm hoping we can convert a few of the draws that we've had into wins I'm hoping we can string together a good little bit of a uh, kind of play and a good little bit of I guess results and form and maybe that can start today as Kevin Kelly has the ball need him to booty back from injury hits it Campbell with the save it wasn't the best effort the commentator described it as an awful effort I think he had a little bit more time booty than perhaps he realized a fantastic creative center attack in mid but perhaps questions to be asked over his kind of goal scoring prowess I think that would be a fair assessment of Sam Booty as a, as a kind of player for us playing in our centre attacking kind of midfielder position anyway ball whipped in here Livermore back post nods it in Sabrino flicked it on at the near post the corner and unfortunately it's a set piece which has undone us there a little bit disappointing seven minutes gone 
really the first opportunity of note for Blackburn and well they, they've scored it the ball whipped in the header flicked on and well the keeper caught in a bit of no man's land not the start we were really hoping for for this game you can see whipped in flicked on and well no one picking up Jake Livermore would have to be sent I mean the man on the post I don't think can take too much of the blame there it's not his job to be marking Livermore there and well a free header at the back post is always a recipe for disaster and well uh, I I mean, you've seen there like, how punishing it can be. But I'm hoping we can bounce back immediately. You know, I'm going to believe here that we can maybe bounce back. Although it's Blackburn in possession. If they score two in a minute, it's not going to be not going to be good at all. And we're going to have a real fight on our hands. But Mulhall there, fantastic little tackle by him. Now can we bring the ball forward? Beckford to Kelly. Lovely through ball. Ta night ta blah, blah, blah. I was about to say tight, narrow angle. But I couldn't get my words out in time. The ball hit the back of the net. I got tongue-tied. But I don't care because we've brought back immediately... And, uh, well, straight from kickoff, really, a great goal. Beckford, what a pass that is. The weight, fantastic. I didn't think Kelly was going to be able to score. It's such a tight angle to squeeze it in. He puts it through the keeper's legs, who lunged at his feet. And, well, it's 1-1 here. We don't want another draw. I want to win this game, particularly at home and particularly given our form. Um, obviously, it's going to be tricky, and it seems like this is going to be a game full of goals as well. Blackburn, they have the ball here. Lefasso, options in the middle. Sabrino's there. He got an assist for the first goal. He's now got a goal to his name, and, well... 14 minutes gone, neither team seems to be showing an understanding of the term defending, I think would be a, an accurate way to describe how this match has gone so far. Cartwright with the ball through, Lofasso out on the left-hand side. Man, who is that? Who is that? Rumsby, you've got to get goal side of your man there. Unfortunately, he doesn't. And Sabrina with a relatively easy tap in there at the near post just finds it in. And, uh, well, 15 minutes gone. Defensively, we don't look that great, but we are creating clear-cut opportunities and uh, hopefully we can start converting a few of them into goals and shore ourselves up a little bit defensively. We're on the attack here. Price, dispossessed, Rumsby. Nice win there. Could have been in trouble if he didn't get that header. Now with Needham. Options on ahead. Booty picks out Rojas, the right back. Price now open a little bit. Loses the ball there, though. And he's on the floor still. I don't think he's injured, thankfully. I was a little bit worried then when he stopped moving. Booty now with it. Fred through Price. This could be very similar to their goal. Price whips it in. A Kelly near post header. Lovely little nod in by him. A fantastic player, of course, in the air. But Price, what an assist that was by Jamie out on the right wing. The Welshman linking up with the Scotsman. The two kind of international strikers in our side. And that's a delightful little ball in. Kelly, cushion little header. Beats the keeper at the near post. Might feel a little bit aggrieved to be beaten there, but the header was, uh, well, directed well into that kind of top corner and with some decent power. And, uh, well, the, the goal scoring continues, doesn't it? 25 minutes gone. Goals galore. We've had four. And, uh, well, we've drawn the last two games 2-2. I don't think it's going to remain 2-2 this game, obviously. Kind of hoping that we can kick on now and get a, a win. And, uh, well, it's going to be Price. He got the assist for the first goal. He's got a little bit of pace in his locker. Is he going to open his locker here? He doesn't. He just crosses the ball in immediately. Kelly has got to finish that. An absolute sitter for the striker. Price, incredible play out on the wing there. That ball in was absolutely sublime. Unfortunately, Kevin Kelly just letting down the team a little bit there. That was a really great opportunity. Perhaps easier than the goal he scored. And, uh, well, the chance went a-begging. But we might still have a chance here. The ball not fully cleared. It is now. Blackburn deal with it. But, um, well, we're creating a fair few opportunities. Three clear-cut chances, two half chances. If only we were a little bit more clinical, there could be even more goals in this game. Which is a little bit frustrating to be saying, I guess you could say. But I feel like we're, we're doing fairly well here, Hereford. We're going strong. And, uh, well, we... we and Blackburn, I guess, are creating a lot of opportunities between us. We've had the better of the opportunities, and well, just before half time, can we create a lead? Kelly hits it, it's saved. It, that was not, not the most convincing of saves by the goalkeeper. It may have even hit the woodwork there, actually looking at it. Evoy, there is going to be a corner, probably a pointless highlight, but I'm going to believe that it could result in something. It was a pointless highlight, wasn't it? It was. I knew. I knew it. In my heart of hearts, I knew that that was not going to lead to anything. But maybe this can lead to something. One minute left of the half. It's actually Blackburn in possession. This is not good. Booty wins it, though. He's on a booking. He's not match fit. I may take him off at half time. Price threaded through. Can he finish this? Of course he can. 18 finishing right there. Jamie Price. It is 18 finishing, isn't it? It's 17. Did it drop? It dropped, my word. Anyway, 17 finishing. <laughs> Good little finish by Ke uh, Price there. Good ball through by Kelly, obviously. Those two players have linked up fairly frequently during this game. And, uh, well, they linked up once more here. Price threaded through. One touch to steady himself. Lashes it home with some real power. Keeper 
committed uh, to the save very early there, kind of jumped down, left his feet, and uh, well, it opened up the goal uh, at the mercy of Jamie Price, who well, he finished it very well, didn't he? I'm very pleased with that performance so far, boys. More of the same, please. It's really been the Price and Kelly show, which isn't entirely surprising. I'm going to take off Sam Booty, who struggled a little bit. I'm going to bring in James Madison for him at centre-attacking mid. Obviously, Madison, a player who he's found himself a little bit more on the fringes of the first team this year, but he has played fairly regularly. And, well, he's a player who showed last year and, of course, over the years preceding that. He can come on off the bench. He can join a game. He can really have an impact, get some goals. Fantastic free kick taker, of course, but also a very good creative player. And maybe... He is going to be key to us getting a few more goals in this game. Sam Booty, coming back from injury, taking him off at half-time. He was on a booking. He didn't look kind of too match-fit going into the game. He wouldn't have lasted the whole match anyway. And, uh, well, Madison, hopefully he can inject some fresh legs into our centre-attacking mid kind of department and uh, create a little bit. You can see here, obviously, Jamie Price with a goal and an assist. Jay Beckford with an assist. And Kelly with two goals and an assist. Really been a, a standout performance by the captain, Kevin Kelly, a player, of course, on loan from Watford. A player who I'd love to sign permanently if possible. We've got him on loan until the end of next season, which is really, really great news because he's a superb player, um, the kind of young Scottish player. And, of course, a player who long-term I'd have pretty good in kind of interest, I guess, in trying to sign him permanently, I think. It would obviously kind of be somewhat dependent on how much he develops over the coming years. He's developed well to become a championship-level player, but I don't know, could he become a Premier League striker? I guess that's the kind of question that remains unanswered at the moment. But anyway, I'm going to take off a player here. David Gums is struggling a lot with fitness. We'll bring in Harry Lennon for him. It's not a, a too radical a, a change, if I'm being honest. We do have one more sub. I think I'm going to hold on to it for now. You can see defensively, the rating's really not that good on our defender. Sometimes you concede a few goals, but the defenders still get good ratings. So I think that implies perhaps that our errors have cost us in this match. Of course, we mentioned the loose marking. But while Rumsby, he should have scored that. He should have scored that, the centre-back. I was criticising the defenders. Their defender just had an absolute sitter and he's lashed it against the post from one yard out. Not ideal. Of course, not really the play you'd want it to fall to there, perhaps, Rumsby. Um, the centre-back, of course, on loan from Newcastle. But, well, time is trickling away here. There's two minutes left in this game. One more goal now for us would surely settle the game. We don't want to get caught out either. Need him to Beckford. Can he finish that? He hits the woodwork. We should be home and dry in this game. Four clear cut chances, five half chances. We have torn apart Blackburn by creating so many great opportunities to score in this match. There might still be a goal in it for us. I hope that we can not concede now, of course. We're committing quite a few men to the attack. The ball and Kelly's there. Was that another half chance? It was indeed. Mulhall might have another effort. That's blocked as well. I mean, it could have been significantly more goals. We really could have embarrassed this Blackburn side. Who, well, at the moment, at least, they sit pretty in the playoff spot. So perhaps that's a food for thought right there, that performance. 3 to it finished, of course. Four goals come in very, very early on. The second half, really, Blackburn didn't look all that threatening. They dropped down to sixth. With that win, we climb up to 12. Our goal difference, not great at the moment. You can see we've scored 23 goals this season, which isn't the most in the league, but it's not a bad total by any means. But defensively, I feel like we definitely need to improve in that full-back area. I mean, I know it's early in October, but I'm looking at the right-back and left-back thinking might need to improve that come January. Um, but no, we'll, we'll see how things go, obviously. Uh, but a good win there. Good to obviously get a win, having not won since the last episode in the league. In terms of when we'll be back next time, looking forward a little bit. Villa could be a good game. They are up to second. I guess Burnley slipped up somewhere. We may well come back for that game. Um, we'll see how things go, obviously. If we progress through the EFL Cup, the fifth round might be an interesting one to do. If we just look at the fourth round here, you can see there's still a few smaller teams left in it who, I don't know, maybe they could get some good results and we could get a relatively easy draw. I guess that would be the dream. Anyway, that's going to be all from me today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy, as always. If you did, of course, leave a like. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.